But let me tell you one of my favorite hypotheses about why we humans re-evolved red-green color vision. This comes from my colleague, Mark Changizi, and it flips the usual story on its head. It suggests something deeply social. He argues that we didn't evolve red-green vision to forage better, we evolved it to read each other better. So here's the idea. Human skin is packed with tiny blood vessels just beneath the surface. And when your emotions shift, when you're embarrassed or you're angry or you're afraid or you're aroused, blood flow changes. Your skin flushes red or it pales. It happens in fractions of a second. And we pick up on this in other faces without even realizing it. So Changizi suggests that our color vision system is tuned to detect these subtle changes in oxygenation of the hemoglobin under the skin. The spacing of our red and green cone sensitivities is almost perfect for distinguishing these tiny shifts in skin tone. In other words, we're not just seeing red and green on apples and trees, we're seeing it in faces, in ears, in emotional states. And those social signals is why Changizi suggests we evolved the ability in the first place to track the emotion of the other. Now this potentially helps explain something. I mentioned that most mammals don't have trichromatic vision, but about two thirds of primates do. And these animals, including us, tend to have less fur on their faces. Less fur means more exposed skin. More skin means more visible blood flow and more reason to evolve a visual system that can pick up on the language of color as it plays out in living flesh. <laughs>